to imprison a person, imprison an individual, a said individual, or a target demographic people for the rest of their lives. So the gentleman in the black Toyota, he's never asked to leave, but people quickly, one paradigm because of my poverty, my extreme poverty, people quickly get tired of me. See this old car? I went in the bathroom in LA, somebody dented the car. When I came out, it was dented. Well, another time I was coming out from a gas station, I saw people who hardly spoke any English. I'm not going to refer to the ethnicity. They were, bam! Yeah, pop! They pop in the car. Oop! They thought they were speaking the English. And they, 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 they sped right off. Out of the gas station. I couldn't have the money to clean the car. Stuff that I would normally have in the storage room. Um, I was all piled up in the back. Clothes. Because I don't have, as someone from the, um, from an NGO in the Philippines said, cleanliness, people being able to, to affect hygiene and cleaning themselves engenders dignity. And it still, you know, in an act, you know, it activates or it encourages, it, it, it inputs or it imbues dignity, dignity, self esteem. I want you to clean yourself. But you have societies, just like the Molana, you see it within the Muslims, they feel disgust for the, um, for the poor. And you have societies that say, okay, we're not going to make it easy for the poor to subsist among us. We'll, we will take away the, um, the stock gaps and the, um, the mechanisms, the crutches, to where they can subsist to make them go away. To make them go away when they actually, as opposed to living in vehicles, living in crud or living in a mess, they would actually we could take these seeds from the al Ajwa dates of Medina, al Medina Manoa. They would actually prefer to be clean and to and to, to be self-sufficient, meaning not to have to ask anyone of the parishioners or prayer group, not to ask anyone for money. They would rather earn their own money. But sometimes some people have been, what was done during the J. Edgar Hoover era, which is called blacklisting. Some people have been blacklisted, and I may have been the target. And I'm making all supposition and conjecture, but somehow supportable, somehow evidence conjecture, Evidence with an E-B at the end that I may have been targeted with a blacklisting type of paradigm. Meaning, discover discover the subject's intimate circles. Then approach those intimate circles that he is not with on a regular basis. That, he may, that the subject may go to for need or for support and diminish, demolish the support structure. And if we have anything bad or untoward on the subject, spread rumor mills around the subject as well as Anything photographic or video oriented, show it to those community members that he may depend on. Show it to him so that he has no support structure. See? And that's why the conservatives talk about the nuclear family. Whereas actually, the extended family is the stronger structure. Even though the extended family, like the royals, you have the House of Windsor. Prince William and all of that, and they are royal and they are luxuriating and they are high. They have a lot of duties, whereas if they have functions, even if they don't want to be there, they have to be at those functions. You know, for this and for that. There is no such thing as no for them, for their sense of duty and representation. There is no such thing as no. Whereas the nuclear family, you can say, no, I'm just staying home with me and mine. You can't do that. In the House of Windsor or other royal Al Saud type structures or Al Nahyan or Al Thani. The Gulf State type of structures. You can't do that. There's no such thing as no. For them, yes, they have to show up at every and all functions. So for, rather than us living like this, as I tried to reach President Obama, and I was mocked by President Obama's White House with a stamp um, showing that what I sent was received at 4 a.m. in the morning with a stamp. Yeah, but it was. But I was never responded to. I was shown that people like me are not to be responded to. People like me who are terror suspects. You know, even I live behind residential houses, all amongst people who are American, who are Caucasian American, all behind me. They have basically told me, in in, in short order, that people like myself, who are terror suspects, are not to be respected not to be responded to, particularly by the leader of the free world. <laughs> Anything that I would propose to help, even with his health care plan, I can paint it 
I can turn it from disaster, from disaster to laudable art and praiseworthy if I would listen to it. See, there's a Somali brother. This chicken is now old, and it was like that Frankenstein chicken that the Libyan brother gave me. But the Libyan brother seems not to want to talk too much. He seems not to want to give too much of his identity away. I don't know what he's connected to or what wealth or whatever before, because I know the brother. I see you come in different vehicles. He's in poor. And these vehicles, number one, because he's of the Sunnah, what they would call a Salaf. You know, of the real Sunnah, Sunnah, Sunnah. No Islamic message, nothing. Of the Sunnah, which you would almost call Wahhabi, which is actually a name that the intelligence community got from the Sufis. They got that from the Sufi mystics who are like clean shaven. The intelligence community got the name Wahhabi from them because the Sufis hate Sunni. Like myself, I mean, they're also Sunni, they have also Shiite Sufi, but the Sunni meaning people who adhere to the Sunnah without any embellishments. When they talk about bid'ah or whatever, in English you would call it embellishments, addition, you know, innovations and embellishments that were not there in this original period. They hate us. People who hang on to a simple, um, not bland, but almost bland, but a simple, um, Whew, minimized version of Islam, almost austere. They don't, they don't like that. So the Somali brother told me he sometimes takes food. The elder saw a man. He told me this, and he said he throws it here in the corner. That's what he told me. So I'm going to put these two chicken legs here because you can see the coloration has changed. This means the essence of the food. Isn't it hard and it's gone? This is like 